Hi, I'm Paul from PDH Sports, leading online racket specialist, and today we're very lucky we've got the new Yonix Duro 10 badminton racket. So um, I've got Lee Clapham here, performance uh, Derbyshire coach and ex-professional player who's going to be testing them for us. Um, this, is a, this is a brand new racket that's just come out um, and it's quite unique, you would say, isn't it? New, new to the market. Um, you've got like a backhand shape which um, will give you a sort of sharper, more responsive feel. And then on the forehand, um, it's a bit more of a boxier shape to allow for like a really solid strike. So um, I don't think there's anything on the market that's quite like this. Uh, so Lee is going to take it away and uh, demo it and see, and he's going to come back and give us his feelings on, uh, on the racket. Right, so Lee's just come off the court, as you've just seen there through the footage. He's given it a very rigorous test. Um, Lee's a Yonix um, sponsored coach, so he's quite, um, you've used all the products before. How did you feel uh, that racket tested and played? Yeah, I think trying this racket, I know that they've got the, the, the two sides to the racket, and there is a noticeable difference between the two. Aerodynamic side, definitely more flex, more whip for the backhand, ideal for that. Uh, green side for the forehand, box frame, and you do get more power from the box frame. You can feel that solidness in the racket. So it definitely does what it says. Uh, Play-wise, as you're hitting, feel-wise, to me, I suppose, performance play, it feels solid, maneuver the racket, I can get the percentages out of it. Uh, for beginner player, maybe might not notice the difference so much, but again, it's still a great racket to hold, great racket to feel. Uh, but at the end of the day, it all comes down to personal preference, what feels good in your hand, what's working for you. Uh, we've got the slim shaft on the racket again, so it's still giving you that, that flex and that maneuverability on the speed shots, quick stuff on, on defense, uh, mid-court drives, tap kills. But then as you go to your forehand box frame, you have a lot of solidness. So I can feel the power in the smash. I can feel the control with the racket. So for me, as a top-end player, this would be a racket I'd definitely choose and use. So would you uh, recommend it, what sort of level would you recommend then to? This level, you're going top end club player, county player, or yeah, tournament circuit player, top level player that, that would use this and, and find the benefit of the racket. Uh, but then even social players might suddenly decide, well, I'm getting more power off my backhand and I, I'm getting the benefit of the racket. I can feel the, the whip in the racket and it is the racket for me. So. Just because it's more top-end racket, I wouldn't rule anyone out on being able to use this. Again, it goes down to, to personal preference. 
but there's, uh, yeah, there's definitely a lot of uh, potential and power in so the record. We, we also talked about it might be a good uh, coaching like aid, you know, like for to someone really trying to work on their backhand and the forehand, would you say? Let's see, yeah, the backhand can definitely notice a difference with the, the aerodynamic frame. You're definitely going to get more whip from the backhand, so it can aid your backhand, definitely. Also, I swear, a lot of the kids when I coach them, even the adults, tell them, right, hold the racket, don't twizzle it. If you start twizzling it, you're going to lose the, lose the focus on the racket. It doesn't matter too much if you're in a match. If you do do that, you'll still get away with your shots. But you can feel a difference if you do use it to its potential and hold it forehand, backhand way. It will work really well. Okay, excellent. Right, so uh, this is a brand new product. It's going to be available at pdhsports.com. It's the Jura 10. Uh, if you check out on the website, it'll be available soon.